talking from experience here, there are a number of challenges that we face with new hires. The first one would be their inability to speak accurately. And I'm talking, of course, with regards to their syntax and grammar. Then there is the issue of poor fluency. They are not fluent. There are too many fillers, too many non-words, too much foghorn noise in between their speech. They also have a lack of ability to build customized interaction with customers. Right? They yeah. can write the conversation based on a script, based on a template that they are given, but the moment they are asked to get improvised, modified statements, they struggle. Next, the inability to do reflective listening. So everyone knows about active and passive listening. However, a lot of people are not aware of what reflective listening is, and especially new hires. So reflective listening requires you to go beyond just what is being said and respond uh, to the other person. So they have this inability to do reflective listening. Then there is the thing of limited vocabulary, which results in poor phrases and dysfunctional customer interaction. Also, I have noticed that on calls where we have new hires, there is too much dead air, which is quite natural, owing to the fact that they are new to the process, they are unfamiliar with how things work. Yeah. But there is a way in which we can train them to avoid that dead air on call and make customers' life easier. Also, I see informal register taking place a lot. So new hires, a lot of them are fresh from college, the lingo yes. that they have been used to speaking in is quite informal and thanks to Twitter, social media, WhatsApp and so forth, this has become part of their DNA. So using casual words like wanna, gonna, that's just not suited in business context, that's another challenge. This occurs as a result of hesitation and lack of speech control. A lot of people tend to confuse a high rate of speech with good communication skills, which is just the opposite of what it should be. A good communicator would know how to speak at a moderate rate of speech. There is the challenge of poor tonality. They sound flat. They don't vary their pitch and pace. There is just one speech music, one speech pattern that you can hear in the way they speak. They have just closed themselves inside a certain box and they repeat themselves. Also, there is the thing of low attention span, right? And of course, yes. this is amplified especially when the person isn't taking notes while speaking with the customer. A lot of new hires are not very well-rounded. So you may have some new hires who are good with process and some who are good with communication. But very mm -hmm. few who are good at both, which is where I think the sweet spot lies. So what yeah. do controllers do? Controllers take charge of the call. Now controllers focus less on asking customers what they would like to do and more on telling them what they should do. Aim always is to get to the fastest and the easiest resolution of calls. Right? So the conversation feels decidedly much more human and much more off script as opposed to, like I was telling you earlier, that a lot of the new hires are over dependent on call script. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be that way, right? Controllers tend to shun that generic language and the prescribed checklist, right? Especially when uh, their diagnosis suggests that their customers have already invested a significant amount of time trying to resolve an issue on their yeah. own.